You know, one of the episodes I really enjoyed um, for a whole lot of reasons, Chris, was the Etowah River flowing through Montalucci Winery in North Georgia. I mean, what a magnificent property yeah. that, you know, you see this beautiful winery and you really don't think about it having a, a, a trout stream running through it. Fish all day on the trout stream and then step out on the bank and walk up into a world-class winery. And yeah, Matthew there, the general manager, uh, what a great host. Matthew, how you doing? Hey, Chris. Good to see you. Hey, Matthew, Sam Johnson. Hey, Sam. Hey, it's good to see you, and thanks for um, hosting us here at Montalucci Winery and Restaurant. It's really great to be here. Welcome. How long has Montalucci been in existence? Well, we broke ground October 2006. We planted the vineyard spring 2007, uh, and we opened the doors to this building on April 5th, 2008. Well, we've heard so much about Montalucci uh, over the years, really, and it's just, uh, it's really exciting to be here. We've known about the Etowah River, because sure. uh, we fish the headwaters up in the ranger camp mm -hmm. that we'll talk about later, but um, it's just exciting to be here and uh, spend some time with you. Matthew took us into the to, to the vineyard and really gave us a Cliff Notes lesson on growing different varietals of grapes. The property itself is 400 acres, plus minus. We've got 16 and a half under cultivation right now got 13 different varietals that we're growing. There's a combination of vinifera, which is the type of grape that you guys are used to hearing about. Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Chardonnay, uh, all of those grapes. And then there's, we also grow French American hybrids. This is Petit Verdot. So this time of year, we've made it through bud break. We've got our little guys growing right here. So you get this little tiny flower in the spring. Each of these seeds has a protein coating around the outside and that protein coating will develop until about July, where the proteins start to convert to sugars. Once we get to that veraison, once that, that sugar development starts to happen, we'll take this netting and we'll unroll it. We've got these wires out here so that we can wrap around the netting to help protect the grape without damaging it, actually. I guess I, what, what surprises me is, you know, is putting on grapes now, but it's also putting on foliage on the top. There's a lot of energy that a grape produces, but we've got clay soils and, and, and lots of lots of humidity. So the energy that would go look for water is now pushing up through the canopy. The basic anatomy of a grape is there's the root stalk, then there's the graft site, and then you grow whichever grape that you want and decide that you're gonna grow. This one happens to be Petit Verdot. We've got roses planted in some of the ends of the posts. It's like the canary in the coal mine. If the rose has got it, your grape's about to get it. And, oh, and so you can get in there and take care of it. Well, this is really, very interesting, you know, walking through, you know, 16 plus acres of vines here at Montalucci. But I'd like to make a suggestion. Let's go get on the Etowah River and see if we can catch some fish. Let's go fish. What was the extent of his fly fishing knowledge? He'd never, never fly fished before, but you know, actually, you know, we put a fly rod in his hands, yeah. gave him some good instructions, and stood there with him and worked yeah. with him, and he actually caught some fish. chicken dinner. Big T did a great job with him and, and uh, got him fishing and actually got him on some big fish too. I have fished all over the Etowah River, but I've not fished that particular stretch. So many of the other waters that we fish is, is such a historic mm -hmm. watershed. Yeah. Uh, that river starts, you know, about 12 miles north of there, and you've got an Army Ranger school up there, Camp Frank D. Merrill, which is the 5th Ranger Battalion. This is the mountaineering school where they learn to repel and climb and hike over mountains and things like that. I've been on Montgomery Creek and got caught in a firefight between these guys. I'm stealthing up. Montgomery Creek, and I get caught in a in an ambush, and an M60 machine gun cranks up over on my right, and all the M16s over here. I nearly wet my waders. <laughs> I tell you, I really did.
What a great river with a, with a really interesting heritage, especially a lot of Native American. Unless you see like a you know uh, an Indian mound, right? You know, there's really no physical evidence unless you find an arrowhead or something right. like that. But in this case, we're fishing up a river, and you come to a, a, a fishing weir that was built hundreds of years ago by the Cherokee Indians. What we're looking at here is a Native American fishing weir. It's a V-shape. You got the rocks that they've placed all the way across to the middle of the river, and then from the middle of the river, 45 degree angles back to the other side. The island that you see there was not there at the time. It was just this V. The V-shape would funnel them into the middle of that V, they'd try to go out of it through the water. The Native Americans, the Cherokees in this instance, would stick their nets and baskets down in the water and catch the fish in large numbers. Uh, you and I fished right up, right up through it. It actually caught some fish. The thing that sticks out to me other than the fish weir, I caught a bunch of big fish. You did. And where were our cameramen? And I'm up there catching these 23 and 24 maybe even 25 inch rainbows yeah. and browns. And I'm looking around like, is anyone here capturing this? Fantastic episode, great time on the water uh, and, uh, and just a, all around, just a great day. We, we really enjoyed it a lot. What I'm looking forward to is going back to Montalucci Winery at some point. I am doing too. some fishing, but you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into those uh, oak barrels a little more than I, than I did this time because they have some good <laughs> wine and uh, and I'd, I'd, I'd like to sample a little bit more of that. Wild Bearings Outdoors is brought to you by ATC. Go your own way.